Welcome to Inspired Living with Mark and Kim. Every Wednesday, Mark and Kim, along with their special guests, will explore thought-provoking topics and ideas that promote creativity, self-help, healing, happiness, and well-being to inspire you on your spiritual journey. Each week, Mark and Kim will discuss different paths to achieving a more spiritual, balanced, happy, and healthy lifestyle. Topics will elevate consciousness and range from metaphysics to the human and social experience and all things spiritual. Welcome to an inspired community that offers support, encouragement, and new ways of thinking. Mark and Kim are tested, certified, and professional spiritual mediums, metaphysical teachers, healers, and spiritual advisors with their own individual spiritual practices in Seattle, Washington, and Los Angeles, California. You are the inspired and the inspiration. I'm counting the blessings all around me today. What are you grateful for? I'm Kim Falcon, founder of Love First, where life transformations happen in Encino, California. And you are listening to Inspired Living with Mark and Kim on Ohm Times Radio, the voice of consciousness. And today we're going to be talking about consciousness as we take a look at the transfiguration of our world and how a light alliance is transforming darkness and creating a new earth. Wow, that sounds wonderful, a new earth. But first, you can find me at lovefirst.info. The work that I do is all about raising consciousness, bringing in well-being and joy to your life. If that sounds interesting to you, I'd love to support you on your path. Please also make sure to check out my website for upcoming workshops and events. I will be hosting a two-day workshop Uh, in May on the 14th and 15th, titled Angelic Guidance, How to Communicate with Your Guardian Angels and Spiritual Guides, and Understanding Yourself Through Angelic Eyes. If you're interested in learning more about the angels and connecting to them, this class will be for you. Mark and I are also excited about an upcoming uh, workshop that we we too are planning, I should say, on uh, the weekend of July 16th, and it's going to be here in LA. I'm very excited to have my partner come down here and be with us for that weekend. Uh, details will soon follow on uh, both of our websites. We're in the process of putting the agenda together as we speak, and we're really excited about getting to meet some of our community. And with me every week on Wednesdays, Wisdom Wednesdays, is my sweetheart of a co-host, Mark Lanehart, the intuitive prospector. Mark, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Happy March to you. It's already March, and I am ready to spring ahead. How about you? Um, I don't know. You know, in L.A., we've been in 80-degree uh, weather here, and it's wow. I, I don't yeah, really feel like we've <laughs> had much of a winter. But I will, I will, you know, be happy with whatever comes our way. So, <laughs> Well, here in Seattle, we don't have that 80-degree weather, and we've had a lot of rain and storms and uh, just ready for the, uh, the warmth to come in the sun and the longer days and, yeah, just ready to spring ahead, which I believe is this weekend. So we'll be uh, springing an hour ahead. So uh, real quick, just wanted to give a big shout out to all of our inspired listeners out there around the world. Uh, thank you so much for uh, spending your time here today with Kim and myself. Uh, we really do appreciate it. Uh, like Kim said, I am uh, your co-host, Mark Lanehart, the Intuitive Prospector. And if you want to do a little spiritual prospecting, connect to a loved one, receive some healing, learn more about the world of metaphysics, or just get out on one of my spiritual hikes that are coming up this spring, Uh, look me up here in Seattle, Washington, or you can go to marklanehart.com, or you can internet search The Intuitive Prospector. I'd love to work with you. And you can check out my event calendar coming up as well, because I do have my first spiritual hike coming up in April, planning for that. Like Kim said, we have our first uh, Spiritual Borders workshop coming up in July. Looking forward to going down to LA and working with Kim and with love to see all of our inspired listeners uh, attend that event it's going to be it's going to be fun a lot of spiritual uh, connection a lot of metaphysics um, if you want to connect with us right now you can do that head on over to our Facebook page which is called inspired living radio you can post your question right now we're bringing it live to air or you can go to our Twitter account which is inspired for us that's the number for us 
We, we can also be found on Instagram and Google Plus communities under Inspired Living with Mark and Kim. So if you want to interact with the show, <clears throat> this is a great way to do it. We also have sponsorship opportunities available. We are getting more uh, interest from sponsors from around the world. So if you want to be, uh, join the team and become inspired and get people on a path of being inspired, uh, join us for a sponsorship opportunity. If you missed the live show today, please head over to uh, listen to any of our on-demand, encore shows uh, over on Ohm Times Radio Archives. We are now <clears throat> happy to announce that we are officially on iTunes. We are also on YouTube, Podbean, SoundCloud, and I also have some of my favorite shows at MarkLaneHart.com. And Kim, I'd like to read our positive affirmation for the month of March. It's a good one. I loved how you opened up the show um, with the uh, quote. That's a, it's a great quote, and the positive affirmation actually ties into that quote as well. So the Inspired Living positive affirmation for the month of March is a positive thinker sees the invisible, feels the intangible, and achieve, achieves the possible. A positive thinker sees the invisible feels the intangible, and achieves the impossible. And that is our Inspired Living positive affirmation for the month of March. It's, you know, Mark, it's so hard to believe that it's the first of March already. Well, the first week uh, in March, it just time has been flying by. <laughs> but it really has. Uh, it's, it's all good. And we are so excited with that said to um, to bring on our guest today as we talk about what is really going on behind the scenes on planet Earth. That is a that's a loaded question right there. And today we're going to get to the answers with our special guest, Gordon Asher Davidson. Gordon Asher Davidson is the author of the book, The Transfiguration of Our World, How a Light Alliance is Transforming Darkness and Creating a New Earth. That sure is encouraging, isn't it, to know that there are other forces out there that are supporting us here on Earth because we, as as we all know, we, we certainly need it. Um, he is a speaker, a teacher, and a coach, and he works with people to help them understand the big picture of what's unfolding on Earth today behind the scenes. And he shows you how to raise your frequency and transform yourself so that you can make your contribution to creating a brighter future for all life on Earth. And you can find him and his work at uh, worldtransfiguration.com. Gordon, welcome to Inspired Living. Thank you for being with us today. Welcome, Gordon. Well, thank you, Kim and Mark, both of you. It's a pleasure to be with you. Yes, it's such a pleasure to have you. And I just love you know, kind of the the information that you're sharing with us today, the your understanding of of things, so your own experience and meditations, and how your your understanding things are kind of shaping around us and with us and through us here on the planet Earth. As as we all know, this is a pretty we're, we're going through some pretty trying times here. So. Thank you for uh, inspiring us with, with hope and encouragement. Yes, that, that is my goal. And I, I think hope is one of the key ideas and even hope from beyond our world, which is definitely present and surrounding us all the time. It's just a matter of re recognizing it and learning how to access it. But it, we are in an extraordinary period of change where some of the kind of heavier, darker energies that have had so much influence in our society and our world are being gradually and steadily removed and dissipated, and a whole new realm of possibilities is opening up to completely reshape and redesign our, our entire way of living here on Earth. Yes, and um, it's very interesting, Gordon, how you say that some of the dark energies are being lifted because... You know, for the general uh, population here, what we see on the news would almost suggest something differently. I mean, it feels like every so often uh, is getting um, the timing between each event is shortening and shortening. It feels like, you know, when we see uh, shootings and um, some of the violence that's taking place around the world. So it might be hard for people to think that's even possible that the energies are being these dark energies are being lifted with what yes. we're being shown of, of course and that's totally understandable that people would feel that way because we have a situation it's like there's been a lot of hidden and concealed 
control systems and darkness present on the earth, influencing people in many, many subtle and, and obvious ways. Um, as what's happening is all of that is coming into the light. There's so much light being poured to our earth right now from galactic civilizations, from the alignment with the center of the galaxy, from all the awakening that's going on within human beings, that that which has been hidden is being revealed. It's like an infection that was there and we didn't know it. And now it's all being brought to the surface to be released and, and purified. And that's kind of where we are. It's right. In, we're in the middle of that process. But it's very beneficial because people are learning and waking up to the controls that have been there and the way the system has been manipulated against them and the kind of uh, impulses behind all the, the violence that we see in the world. And it's creating a tremendous amount of upheaval because people are no longer willing to settle for the status quo. That's what the elections are telling us. People are fed up with the way the system runs and they're not going to accept it. And that's really part of how this is all shifting. So it opens up the doorway for a whole new possibility to be brought forward into the world by both human beings who are totally inspired, as you say, and with the support of spiritual masters and higher civilizations who are totally backing this huge transfiguration that we're going through on the planet. So, Gordon, I'm not sure if it's just me, but it does seem that you're breaking up. It could be just me. Are you with us? Yes, totally. I'm completely oh, here. Oh. Okay, sorry. Uh, bits and pieces got cut out, but um, I hear what you're saying. Yes, and I, 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 we see that very prevalently uh, today with the elections just right here in our own country taking place today. Um, and we're just getting started with just fascinating uh, topics of conversation. Stay with us for the next two minutes and we'll be back with our guest, Gordon Davidson. Your conscious connection to a more mindful world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Hi, this is Julie Geigel. I'm Maggie Chula. And I'm Catherine Glass. And we're the Psychic Angel Channelers. Join us every week here on Om Times Radio for Angel Talk Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. The angels have heard your call and are here to help. Are you ready to receive? Remember your magnificence with Angel Talk Tuesday. Are you seeking answers to life questions? Would you like to connect to a departed loved one? Are you suffering from pain, stress, or anxiety? Kimberly Thalkin is a tested, certified, and professional psychic, spiritual medium, energy healer, hypnotherapist, and the founder of Love First, where life transformations happen. Love First services support, guide, and empower individuals by connecting them to their highest potential to live a healthier, joyful, and meaningful life that's filled with purpose. All services can be done by phone, Skype, or in person in Encino, California. Please visit lovefirst.info. That's L O V E F I R S T.info for more information. Are you trying to get from point A to point B and need a little advice? Connect with the counselors at Ohm Times Advisors. Whether you're looking for a life coach or a spiritual intuitive, the advisors participating at advisors.ohmtimes.com were carefully chosen based on their gifts, skills, and professionalism. Ohm Times Advisors. Connecting you with the best advisors in the business. Vibe Nation Radio is brought to you by Carrie Turcott and Dean Thomas. Each week we bring a refreshing outlook to lifting the veils of illusion that occur in our daily lives. We will share our own learnings and personal experience that allow others to understand who they truly are. At the end of each show, Carrie will be tapping into the listeners' energies just to give an idea of what to expect for the week ahead. So join us each Monday at 3 p.m. Eastern, and together we will discover the inner keys that will unlock the true you. The best of the holistic, spiritual, and conscious world. Om Times Radio.
i o m f m 
and then try to communicate that through written books and also through videos. And that's what I do. Um, and so the master appeared to me in my meditation as an internalized clairvoyant, clairaudient vision and continues to do so. Um, for 20 years, that's been my relationship. I was trained very specifically in how to do this work to make it more accurate, to learn how to discriminate between the astral level and all the confusing things you can find there to a much higher frequency, um, really powerful spiritual level where the, the, the truth is much clearer and how to bring that into form, you know, write it down in such a way that it, it could be useful to, to other people. And I, I love that you said, you know, you learned. Uh, so you, I, I imagine that you, you know, so learning never stops. You know, some people think we get out of high school and we go on to college, <laughs> you know, we get done with college. And it's, you know, just listening to that, it's always a learning process, whether you're here in the physical world or you're in the spiritual world. We're, we're always learning to, to get to that higher level. And so did you mentor and learn under somebody for your uh, meditations or, you know, you talked about the shakening and I, I wrote about the this month in my newsletter and for Ohm Times uh, magazine about you know <clears throat> what I call spiritual seeds and that usually there's some sort of shakening that takes place with either my clients or all the guests that we have on Inspired Living Radio that causes them to awaken. And so the fire and everything that you lost caused this awakening. Obviously, you started meditating. Uh, did you learn and mentor under somebody that helped you along that way? Because somebody out there might be going – I'm going through this right now, and I don't know where to turn. I don't know how to meditate. I don't know how to connect to something beyond myself or bigger than myself. Right, right. Yes, I did study actually with various teachers <clears throat> and traditions, so I do have quite a lot of background in <clears throat> how you do <clears throat> excuse me, learning how to meditate. So that definitely has been part of my history, um, and I have – um, been teaching meditation now for over over 35 years, really, um, to people all over the world. I travel and do a lot of teaching. We do have a course called Accelerating Your Spiritual Evolution, which people could also be part of, and we do a lot with meditation in that course. It's it's done online um, once a month, and it, you can find out about it by going to livethefuturenow.com. That's our website where you could learn more about that course if you're interested in um, practicing some techniques that will really help you lift your frequency into higher levels and actually um, function at a clearer level, learning more about what your purpose is, how you can actually contribute to this incredible process that's underway on this planet of transferring everything, as we can see, despite the way things look to most people. It is actually going through tremendous change, and I can give you lots of examples of the positive changes that are happening. Yes, yes, please do. Well, um, I think that the main – I want to share this one thing that's quite interesting is that we are getting a lot of help. You know, people. Most people think our planet is simply isolated, little planet floating through the cosmos, and maybe off somewhere far away there might be some life, and maybe it's some algae or something, some planet. But that's not true. There are all kinds of life around us, everywhere, mm -hmm. from many different civilizations around this planet right now. Especially because we're in this crucial. Cri Trans transformation, transfiguration process. So we are getting a tremendous amount of help with all of this work that we're doing. So what happened was with 9-11, which was an attempt by the dark forces to try to completely scare us to death and gain total control of this planet, our planet Earth is a chakra in the body of the solar systemic being. We are part of a greater being. We are not just isolated. We are part of a greater whole. Mm -hmm. And when that condition became apparent to the Solar Council, the, the group that actually determines many of the decisions about Earth, they made a decision to help remove the, these control forces from the planet. This was in, in, 19, in 2002. And in, at that point, they began and allowing the galactic civilizations to remove these control forces from the planet. That was the point where the light and energy really started to intensify on the planet. And that, from that point on, the, the frequency has risen every day, every minute it's rising. More and more people are waking up, as we are seeing. 
and that the control forces are losing their grip on the financial system, the media, and other places, even though it's not fully apparent behind the scenes, there is a tremendous upheaval going on, and all kinds of new uh, shifts are are in underway. And there's a very specific, clear plan on how this is going to go, come about with a complete reform of the financial system where banks will no longer be for-profit corporations. They will be public utilities and where we will have a, 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 re, a new kind of currency, a worldwide currency that's backed by gold and other commodities, which will be stable and un, no interest involved in them, no more interest on loans. We're going to have a jubilee which the Pope has already declared for this coming year, which is a jubilee year is when you forgive all past trespasses against you, but also all debt. And we're in the process of moving towards that point where we will eventually have all the debt on the planet forgiven. And that is a stupendous concept. I know it boggles the mind, but I am very confident that that is in fact where we're going. Yeah, and it ties into numerology as well because 2016 is a year about completing cycles, forgiveness. So that jubilee that you just re you know referred to as far as forgiving others, forgiving mm -hmm. a debt, um, that's all tied together. Yeah, so I totally agree with that. And you know, we see it from the world of you know banking to politics to religion. There's a lot of just stirring up of uh, of emotions and feelings and. Um, even just announcements with the the announcement of the gravitational waves from Einstein's theory a hundred years ago that was confirmed that yeah. really changes our outlook of how the universe multi dimension and how we're going to discover more about our universe is starting to take place. Um, Absolutely, I found that fascinating with that announcement a week and a half ago. You know, they they mm -hmm. had discovered it in September, but now they're really you know it, it takes theory and. and Changes it into fact, or absolutely. You know, and that, by the way, by the way, that is the secret of how UFOs um, are able to move through space and time in ways that we don't understand, because it's it's the ability to master gravity and change the gravitational field around the ships. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be uh, just fascinating to watch this all unfold. So there's our uh, cue for our second break already. Um, you're listening to Inspired Living with Mark and Kim here on Home Times Radio and our special guest, Gordon Asher Davidson. When we come back from the break, uh, we're going to really get into some good stuff. So stay tuned. Bringing a more conscious lifestyle to your world. Om Times Radio, IOM FM. Looking for inspiration? Want to be inspired? Not sure where to go. Find Mark and Kim every Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern on Inspired Living. Topics will elevate consciousness and range from metaphysics to the human and social experience and all things spiritual. Welcome to an inspired community that offers support, encouragement, and new ways of thinking. You are, you are the, inspired the Inspired and the inspiration. inspiration. Have you ever wondered how to change your love paradigm? The secret key is finding a love partnership, not just a regular connection. How do you find these? Through conscious relationships. Ascending Hearts Dating is a dating site for people like you that believes in second chances and a different type of spiritual connection. Try Ascending Hearts for free today at AscendingHearts.com and change your love paradigm. Ascending Hearts, the premier dating community for the spiritually awake. One planet, 7.3 billion people, only one you. Life offers us many opportunities and learning experiences. Are you ready to explore and discover this beautiful planet, the life and energy all around us, the spiritual world, and what is unseen, along with your own personal soul adventure? Mark Lanehart, the intuitive prospector, is the spiritual connection you have been prospecting for. Internationally known as a tested and professional clairvoyant medium and spiritual advisor, Mark's work as a metaphysical teacher, medical instructor, Radio show host, inspirational writer, and hiking guide are here to help you on a journey of self-discovery, healing, inspiration, education, and a whole lot of spiritual awesomeness. Dare to dream. Dare to explore. Dare to live. For more information on Mark's spiritual practice in Seattle, Washington, please visit marklanehart.com or internet search The Intuitive Prospector. 
Have you bought into the idea that you have to work hard for your money, that business is hard? I will share some dynamic access consciousness tools to get you out of your own way so you can create a business that actually succeeds. Join me, Simone Millicis, on the Joy of Business at 4 p.m. Mondays Eastern. The cutting edge of conscious radio. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. And welcome back to Inspired Living with Mark and Kim here on Ohm Times Radio. We have special guest Gordon Asher Davison talking all about the transfiguration of the earth. Uh, but before we get into more um, deeper conversations about this, this is going to be very interesting stuff, folks. So you'll want to tune in for the next half hour here. We wanted to uh, – Talk about our sponsor for the second half of Inspired Living. We are happy to bring along the Happiness Road Tour. It's a movement that is dedicated to spreading happiness across every major city in the U.S. The Happiness Tour first stops in New York City in May with an evening of inspiration, entertainment, and meaningful connection that will help spread happiness. Choose happy. You can visit more. About, you can learn more about the Happiness Road Tour if you visit happinessroadtour.com, and you can join them today. And we'll actually have. Um, the founder of the Happiness Road Tour on this month uh, in a few weeks talking more in detail about the Happiness Road Tour. But they are the sponsor for the second half of Inspired Living. So, um, Gordon, before we got into the second break there, uh, we were talking all about um, the shifts that were taking place and the Einstein's theory of relativity and the announcement of gravitational waves. And you were talking about that's how uh, aliens actually move through space as far as bending gravitate and uh, maybe the wormholes, Einstein – uh, you know, wormholes or the um, – what, what do you call it? The um, – help me out here. The the bridge, the uh, Rosenberg bridges. Mm -hmm. And so I just wanted to talk a little bit ab about that and kind of just, you know, let listeners know what that all means. Well, I think the, the primary thing is, of course, that we're developing all these new technologies, including what people call, quote, free energy or quantum field energy where they're direct – able to tap directly into the – energy field that's always all around us and actually create these devices where for a little box in your backyard, you can have all the energy that you need, uh, you know, to run your home and everything else. And of course, many scientists have developed these kind of devices, but that has all been very much suppressed by the control forces. If you've done any investigation of this, you may know about this. And that now that control is being is, is lightening up and many of these inventors are now putting out this information. And and there are devices that actually actually films, videos showing that they've actually created what would we would call a UFO saucer shaped craft using anti gravity technology. And one of the people doing that is the Keshe Foundation, um in uh, it's in Belgium. And they are doing that, that kind of in development, and there are others. So there is a gradually a steady releasing of these very advanced technologies far beyond anything we have in our current world that will revolutionize our world. For instance, instead of using planes to go from point A to B anywhere on the planet, we'll have portals where you go in, you step into a portal, you, you make, you decide where you want to go and wherever there is a portal of exit, you can go and be anywhere in the world in about 10 minutes. That's what I, that's the vision. That's what I've been told is real. That is a real technology that does exist. And that will be set up on the planet and we will completely change the whole technology of travel, which will be very interesting. Now, that, does that, does that tie into the Stargate? Well, it's like it's a similar it? to the Stargate concept. The Stargate concept, okay. of course, goes beyond off the planet, which mm -hmm. is also quite possible, and that will be part of the travel as well. Now, the the control forces have gotten a hold of a lot of these technologies and have been using them themselves for a long time. But all that is coming to an end with this huge shift, where what happened with this. Uh, release of the light that the galactic civilization is given permission to remove the dark side, but also to help begin helping very directly humanity in by supporting what we call the Earth Light Alliance, which are all those light workers, all of us in the world, and including major leaders, even heads of state, who are now informed about what is really going on at these higher levels, and that there is this movement towards bringing all this light and energy and new technologies and everything to change all the systems on the planet to make us 
have that world where we all long for in our hearts that we've always wanted peace love healing justice you know elimination of violence all of it and all that is underway so we call it the earth galactic light alliance and there are actually galactic in beings who are working directly and i mean that exactly with heads of state with major leaders helping and advising them and moving us forward in this process where we are going to change the entire system at a level that's inconceivable. <laughs> so you're, you're saying physically and spiritually. So you're saying oh, physical yes. beings, yes? Am, am I getting yes. that right? Physically present, in some cases, not that common, but they are there. And they don't necessarily look like strange people. They, they look like human beings. Or directly through inner inner processes of providing ideas, mm -hmm. inspiration, and, and, and uh, support for the, all the changes that need to take place on the planet. And now, Gordon, do the heads of state know that they are working with these intergalactic beings, or they just think it's a colleague of theirs that's uh, imparting this wisdom on them? Some of them do know. And, oh, some of them do know. Uh -huh. And, and it, it all depends on their level of consciousness. They may just know that there's this worldwide group that's working together to get to eliminate all this hate and violence and horrible stuff going on. And they, they align with that because they, they know that's the right thing to do and they believe in it. They may not know about the other levels of it. And some of them do know directly about the other levels. Um, yes. So well, it, it, it depends on their consciousness. Okay, okay. No, I'm still trying to get over the fact that I can be in Hawaii in 10 minutes with this new travel <laughs> system. <laughs> Of course, of course, she's going to Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you get the five-hour plane ride. Let's just do it the right way here. Um, <laughs> no, I, and uh, this is very, uh, very serious stuff that we're talking about. Beautiful stuff. Now, you talked about, you know, um, uh, our consciousness and the world, this Earth moving to a place of oneness, love, and and doing things in the highest good of all. What does life on Earth look like once we move into that place? I mean, are we all – how does that work? Are we all equal? I mean, are we all – do we all have the same amount of money in the bank? I mean, how does that uh, – Yes, well, I, well it's go what, there's going to be a – part of the – I didn't complete this, but the part of the financial reforms are going to be that those people who have accumulated vast – I mean, inconceivable sums of money and wealth by – cheating, stealing, manipulating the financial system and all the other things that have gone on. And we're talking about quadrillions, quintillions of dollars, really. Um, all that's going to be confiscated and it's going to be distributed to the all of humanity. People who have money that they've earned legitimately or inherited legitimately without any negative, you know, criminal activity or anything like that will be fine. But there, so there will be distinct differences of wealth, but there will be a basic minimum which will take care of the food, shelter, clothing, health care needs of every human being on the planet. And that's definitely part of the plan. The military is going to be mobilized once we go through this huge shift to build beautiful new kinds of housing in villages all over the world, especially what we call now shanty towns. All that's going to be completely changed. Um, I'll give you one of the more far out aspects of this. Uh, there's many. It's all a lot of this is in my book, and I'm writing a new book, which is even more descriptive of all these changes. But one of them is a lot of the housing we have in our world is pretty awful. I, I would say soul depressing, right? Mm. The kinds of buildings that we have, and particularly in the big cities and all. All those buildings can be demolished in a way, not through breaking down the buildings with uh, cranes and, and bulldozers, but actually uh, through sound. They can be eliminated and removed. And new buildings can be built that do not require the same kind of constructions. Out of the substance of the of, of being where the what the buildings and the homes and the office buildings are made up is a substance that's actually living substance and it will respond to the thoughts and feelings and energies of the people inhabiting them this is the way uh, ufo craft are built and so that they will be alive the buildings themselves will be living and responsive to our whole state of consciousness and being that will be one of the just one example of the changes we'd have in our new world another one is healing 
in, in there they do have healing chambers where you decide before you go in what age was your peak performance age in your life you 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 discern, determine what that is and by working with your dna and completely rejuvenating your dna which is the control factor for your aging that the your you can be brought back to the particular age where you feel you are at your peak function and what about so does that mean everybody's at the same consciousness not necessarily. There still will be differentiations in, in people's capacity to access higher levels. But the basic awakening that will happen will be that people will wake up and realize that we, that our fundamental reality is we are one and that that is the truth. Now, there's another piece of this which I haven't shared, which is really quite challenging, but which is – there's going to be a point which is called the Day of Revelation by the Galactic Light Alliance where there's going to be an increase in love energy on the planet at a level and power that's never been present before on our Earth. The love energy is going to become extremely strong. And everyone who's capable in any way of understanding or resonating with the energy of love will be able to be remain on the planet. All those who are not capable or understanding or have love within them will no longer be able to be present on the planet. And many of them will go to other places where they will have environments that suit their particular frequency that they resonate with and they will be able to continue their evolution in an appropriate environment for their level of consciousness. But love and understanding love and embodying some degree of love, you don't have to be perfectly loving all the time, it just means you have some part of you that can resonate with love. Those people will be the ones here on earth. Everyone who cannot resonate to that frequency do not have it in them will no longer be on earth. Okay, it sounds, sign me up, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm all about love. Um, so, oh, shoot, we're going to break right in the middle of a great conversation. Gordon, stay with us. Our listeners, stay with us. We'll be back in two minutes. And uh, this is great stuff. So join us for the rest of the last segment of the show. We'll be here. The best of holistic, spiritual, and conscious world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Have you been searching for a perspective beyond the mainstream? Check it out. Join your hosts, Elito Pasquale and Diana Gold Holland, on Share International Radio for thought provoking views behind the news. Sundays at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio. You can also find us at shareontheairradio.org. This may be the message of hope you've been waiting for. Looking for inspiration? Want to be inspired? Not sure where to go. Find Mark and Kim every Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern on Inspired Living. Topics will elevate consciousness and range from metaphysics to the human and social experience and all things spiritual. Welcome to an inspired community that offers support, encouragement, and new ways of thinking. You are, you are the, the inspired, inspired and, and the inspiration. inspiration. Simone Millicis would like you to know that business can be fun, which is why she wrote the book, Joy of Business. What if you could have the joy of business rather than the stress and struggle? Most of the time, the only thing stopping you from a thriving business is you. In the Joy of Business book, Simone gives you access consciousness tools and pragmatic ways to get out of your own way and to create the business, life, and living you know is possible and beyond what this reality says is achievable. Business is joy. It's creation. It's generative. It can be the adventure of living. You can purchase your copy of the book through Amazon or Joy of Business website, www.accessjoyofbusiness.com. Eros Evolution is where science. 
sexuality and spirituality meets. Join me, clinical sexologist Martha Tara Lee, on Eros Evolution on Thursdays, 4 p.m. Eastern on Om Times Radio. Free your mind. Expand your soul. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. And welcome back to Inspired Living with Mark and Kim and our special guest today, Gordon Asher Davidson. Gordon, boy, I tell you, I've got to make the, the most of these next 10 minutes here because <laughs> I've got a lot of questions for you. Okay, so when we were talking, um, we were talking uh, last about all these beautiful things happening, oneness, love, doing things in the highest good of all. And uh, most recently, you were saying that uh, anybody who doesn't have it within them to love will be removed and sent to a place that's more in alignment with where they are to be able to evolve on their own. So um, we're going to have a, a world filled with love. What, what about fear and worry? Is that prevalent on the earth? Is that still an emotion or thoughts that um, are part of uh, our consciousness on earth? Well, it's certainly present now. Um, The plan is, of course, that we are going to work uh, to eliminate that. First of all, through the threat of violence being removed from people's lives. That is one of the course major causes of fear and worry. The other thing is survival fear. You know, we have this massive number of over a billion people that are living on the edge of surviving even enough to eat and let alone all the people who are afraid of losing their jobs and homes and everything else. Well, if we have a system where everybody knows that they are always going to be assured of having enough for their basic survival needs and be able to have an education, health care, and everything that they need to thrive, then um, you remove that subconscious survival fear. That is affecting every single person on this planet, whether they have that directly or not. It's in the field. If that is gone, can you imagine the lifting of consciousness that that will create for our Earth Mm -hmm. just to take Mm -hmm. out that survival fear? Mm. Oh, yes. Fear and worry are, uh, you know, the root cause of so much unhappiness and uh, strife in the world today. So, yeah, absolutely. But what would then... If we're, there's a sense of oneness, then what kind of differentiates one person from the next? Can anybody be a doctor or lawyer? Can um, anybody <laughs> buy the million dollar mansion on you know beachfront that they're they've been wanting? Well, how does that all work? Well, there's only a limited amount of beachfront, so I guess not everyone's going to have a mansion <laughs> on the beach. But you know what I mean, though, right? Uh, I, mean, I totally understand. Well, the, the, the whole concept and the framework will be that we are all divine beings. We are all connected to source. We, that's who we are in our deepest essence. The whole purpose of life will be to connect with that essence at deeper and deeper levels, discover what your unique contribution, your capabilities, your gifts, your, your, your joy is that you can offer to the world to help make the world a better place for everyone. That's going to be the focus. So that, and so that that's made, means raising beautiful children, if it means creating community, if it means writing books or singing, dancing, um, you know, being a political leader. But in the context of we are all one, we're not separate, and we so are all it, here to help all of us thrive and do well. Is everyone's gift valued the same? In other words, if somebody wants to contribute to humanity by the, you know, their beautiful gift of dancing, is that valued at the same uh, rate that um, a doctor would be valued? In the essential appreciation of here is a divine being expressing the essence of their deepest love and creativity and contribution. Yes, it's all equally valued. I think what you're thinking about, though, is also the money side of it. And the, and the yes. interesting thing is when we have free energy, when we have um, money available that's being shared with everyone and people are not so terribly, terribly stressed about money, that um, ultimately money will not become – will not be as important. It simply will not because compare having more money to the joy of being in touch with your spiritual essential nature. And it's going to be so much easier to do that when we move. And what we're going to do is experience these higher spiritual dimensions like this oneness. 
Everyone will experience it to some degree, but the energy field of the earth itself is going to be so different that we can move in and out of actually going totally into oneness and then coming back into 3D and bringing back what we can experience and learn from those higher levels into expression in in our world to make it a better place. And we are going to clean up the oceans and the earth, and we're going to completely uh, redo the entire physical world. That will be the primary project of humanity. That's what we'll be focusing on, replanting trees, cleaning the oceans, um, gardens everywhere. It's all going to be and we're all going to be behind it and doing it together because we understand that that's what this is the greatest contribution we can make. And ultimately, when we truly integrate this reality, we will have open contact with other civilizations from beyond Earth. And we, humanity and Earth will be invited to join the Galactic Light Alliance if we so choose. And I'm sure we will, which means we will have access to go to travel off planet to all kinds of other systems, planets, and galaxies. Oh my goodness, Gordon! What I mean, it, what we're talking about just sounds like beyond delightful. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it really does. So the question um, I have as we uh, near the end of our show, I mean, when are we getting any kind of information on when this is supposed to happen? Um, yes, it is not in the long term future. It is much more close than, you know, years in the future. That's really all I can say, because this particular massive inflow of love that's been going to come in is determined by the relationships within our solar system with other solar systems and an alignment between seven solar systems, which is in process. Even the masters don't know exactly when this is going to occur. But the movement towards creating these kind of reforms of the financial and political system it are already underway behind the scenes. You won't see it in the mainstream media because that media is still controlled by the, the control forces. But once we get to a certain point, that will it will all come out in public view. And that's not long in the future. And so is that in our lifetime? Because I oh, know, yes. you know, sometimes I guarantee it, happens- it will be in your lifetime. And you won't oh, have my- and you won't have gray hair when it happens. <sighs> Oh, yeah, it's already too late for that. <laughs> oh, anyways, um, this is just wonderful news, Gordon. And and I mean, I I just feel excited talking about it. I yes, just feel well, excited that's the whole idea. It. See, the other thing that's really important in all this, we create, as you well know, I'm sure, we create our own reality, right? And part of the yes. way the control forces work is they they project negative, horrible, ghastly realities. They've tried to make humanity afraid of uh, extraterrestrial beings for a long time and because they they know they can break their control. But we create reality through our vision of the future. And we are – and my, part of my work is to create a vision of the future that's so powerful, so aligned with what is really occurring and what's going – intended to happen by higher beings that humanity is going to get excited about it and start holding that vision of our future. And I've got thousands and thousands of people now who are totally excited about this vision and are working for its fulfillment. And there are many beyond all the people I know that are doing this. So we are creating it by doing that. We are actually helping it to come into being. So it's very important that we hold this higher vision and that we we do everything we can to aid and assist that coming into being on our planet, in our world today. Well, if we can be any part of uh, helping to support holding that vision by having you on again, Gordon, I would love to do that because I feel like the conversation's just starting and we're yes. <laughs> almost at the end of the show. Now, just real quickly, Gordon, what does this mean about religion? Because as we know, religion is at the the root of so much uh, unhappiness and violence today. What does that mean for religion? Or is everybody just loving and accepting of everybody everyone's beliefs what what if happens you, if, if you took away took out of our planetary s- system the people who are immersed in violence and hatred and separateness and only re- remained positively oriented loving people then it would not be that difficult to change the attitude but there is a work underway right now and, and if you recall the meeting between the pope and the part the russian orthodox patriarch kirill mm-hmm. is a beginning of that process to actually come up with a set of principles of how 
religions can be honored each for their own background and practices and cultural traditions, but they hold that within the context of love and respect for all human beings and human dignity and the right to have a decent life. If we hold that, then religion can be present. We can have different views and different ideas and ways of practicing, but if it's held within the context of love and, and oneness, it's not a problem. So, Gordon, if I remember correctly on your site, you hold different groups. So people like who um, love this uh, conversation that we're having want to be a part of this vision. Uh, you're, do you, you hold different groups? Yes, I have, a local, I have a local group here in San Rafael, California. Okay. And we also have an on, two online groups. One is a, tr a training process called Accelerating Your Spiritual Evolution, which you can join. I have videos of all the previous sessions, so you can join at any time. And I also have Galactic News updates from the Light Alliance, with them, which is a monthly update of everything I'm receiving about what is going on on the planet, the latest stages in the unfoldment, where it's all going, and what do the current events actually mean. And okay. all of this is found on our website, livethefuturenow.com. Gordon, is, thank you so much for being with us. I'm sorry we're running out of time here, but uh, worldtransfigurations.com also goes to Live the Future. Thank yeah. you for being with us. What a beautiful hour we've spent together. And we'll see everybody next week with our guest, Elisa Medhus. Uh, and she's the author of My Life After Death, A Memoir from Heaven. Namaste. Namaste.